Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a lung disease characterized by the chronic obstruction of the lung airflow that interferes with the normal breathing and is not fully reversible. The more familiar terms chronic bronchitis and emphysema are no longer used but are now included within the COPD diagnosis. Pathological changes in the COPD occur in the central airways, the peripheral bronchioles and the lung parenchyma. Most cases of the COPD are the result of exposure to noxious stimuli, most often the cigarette smoke. The normal inflammatory response is amplified in persons prone to the COPD development. The pathogenic mechanisms are not clear, but are most likely diverse. Increased numbers of the activated polymorphonuclear leukocytes and macrophages released elastases in a manner that cannot be counteracted effectively by antiproteases resulting in the lung destruction. The primary offender has been found to be the human leukocyte elastase, with synergistic roles suggested to proteinase 3 and macrophage derived matrix uh, metalloproteinases, cysteine proteinases, and a plasminogen activator. Additionally, increased oxidative stress caused by the free radicals in cigarette smoke the oxidants released by the phagocytes and the polymorphonuclear leukocytes all may lead to the apoptosis or the necrosis of the exposed cells. Smoker's bronchiolitis or the respiratory bronchiolitis is recognized pathologically as an increase of macrophages which contain a finely granular golden brown pigment present within the lumen of the respiratory bronchiole and subtending alveolar spaces. Other inflammatory cell types such as neutrophils and eosinophils may be numerically increased, but such increases are generally subtle. Lymphoid follicles or aggregates can often be identified within the adventitia of the airway. A mild degree of alveolar fall fibrosis is often associated with respiratory bronchiolitis and should not be interpreted as the evidence of respiratory bronchiolitis, interstitial lung disease, which remains a diagnosis that should be considered only in conjunction with clinical information. Watch the detailed lecture on scalia.com pathology course. That's the two minutes. See you in the next video.